Hey, Houston, we have a problem. What's going on, everybody? It's Fate Dating Coach Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title, below, actually, I don't even know what I'm going to put in the title, but basically, what we're going to talk about with this video is if you've been dating a guy for a couple months and you're not in a relationship, then you have a problem, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, it should not take that long for a guy to be in a relationship with a woman or to think, you know, hmm, I wonder if she's relationship material. No, 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 no. He figures that out day one, if you're relationship material or not, okay? Now, of course, you can, you can it can build, and he can feel like, you know, okay, she, she was friends with benefits. Now she's relationship material. It can always build, but for the most part, I have a video on it. You know, guys usually put girls in three categories, friends, friends with benefits, or relationship girlfriend material, okay? And uh, it should not, if you're dating a guy for a month or two, and he still has no idea on what he wants, then you got a problem. If you were taking it as slow as I usually uh, say in my videos, where you should be talking, or you know, seeing him one day a week, um, and escalating in the course, and then keeping uh, texting to a minimal, even if you do all that, a guy still knows what he wants. So if you're on, you know, date six, date five even, date four maybe, and he's still not telling you what he wants, then that's a problem. Now, here's what I would do if that's the case. I, you know, you're, you're either doing one or two things wrong. I would say you're not showing him that's your relationship material, or you're not, uh, or that you're the best option, I would say, or you're not do going about it the right way. And a lot of women, when they would watch this video, they would say something, or they would think like, well, you know, he's right, Elliot's right, you know, I need to confront him, I need to give him an ultimatum, I'm tired of this bullshit, I need to talk about it, I need to bring it up. No, 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 you do not, do not bring it up, I swear to God, if you bring it up, I am good, I, if I could block you from my channel, I would, if you bring, actually, no, I wouldn't, that'd be counterproductive, but if you bring it up, like I say, all the time, for the love of God, if you bring it up, it's only going to do more harm, because the guy feels like, uh, you know, what, every move that you know, every you know, every move that he makes, okay, he's gonna feel like, well, you know, she wants the relationship, she's really falling for me, which is fine. You know, he's gonna think I'm a stud. You know, I got my, I, I got, of course, she likes me, but at the same time, he's gonna feel like every move that he makes, or every time that you guys hang out, or everything that you guys do together, is a sign that you know he wants a relationship and that you guys are going to move towards one it just takes time right and he does not want to give that uh that energy he does not want to give that you know that idea off you know it, it leads you on so he's gonna so he naturally pulls back and he's like uh, uh uh because he feels like you know well no matter what i do with her now if i hang out with her you know she told me she likes me she told me she wants a relationship now i feel like every time i hang out with her she wants to you know that's me saying that's me approving that's me saying oh okay let's be in a relationship and that's not what he wants i'm not saying that he doesn't want a relationship but he, listen guys go about it differently um when you when you say something like that to a guy you are jumping the the hurdles of attraction. You you are you are. It's not unfolding naturally. That's not how it's supposed to be. There's no other animal in the animal kingdom who walks up and nudges each other and be like, "Hey, I like you. I want to. I want to go. I want to be." No, it's not. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. Now they might. Now they might do something. You know, a dance if you're a bird, or peacock's feathers, or if you're you know a, a mammal. A lot of mammals fight. You know, the males fight to prove something to the woman. You know, you might do something like that, but no one just says. Hey, I like you. Let's let, let you know. Let's just see how it goes, and you know, and, you know, two weeks from now, let's you know, let, let's work our way towards a relationship. No, 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 no one does that besides man, besides us, right? But that's not how it naturally unfolds. As much as it seems logical, again, I know why women do it. They, you know, you don't want to waste your time. You want you want to know the guy's intentions. You want him to know your intentions and what you want. But that's not how it happens, right? When you start bringing that stuff up, you have that aura, that atmosphere over uh, the whole, you know, every time you guys hang out, he feels like, well, you know, now he just loses attraction because if he didn't want that originally, then he feels like, well, okay, now I'm just going to start pulling away. And a lot of women will think, well, good, that saves me a lot of time and energy because that guy didn't want a relationship to begin with. No, no, that's not, that's not actually true. Uh, what I would do is once you, once you watch this video or you probably realize it before watching this video, you know, that, you know, it's been, you've been dating for two, two months and he's not giving you the, uh, you know, the direction that you want to go. Here's what I would do. I would, uh, I, w I wouldn't give him space. I was going to say give him space. I wouldn't give him space. Instead, I would try to work more of a relationship aura 
into the into the relationship without actually being in one, okay, or without actually talking about it. Make it feel like it's a relationship, and make them uh, gain the me versus or the we versus me mindset. Have have a we mindset. Don't be clingy. Don't show those red flags. Don't push or bring up the title or anything like that. Just make him feel like he's in one. So when you do bring it up a couple weeks from now, it will, it, you know, it should be different. It should feel, it, it unfolded naturally. And the way you have to bring it up is very nonchalant. You know, talk about the things you guys been doing and that you might as well be, a, you know, in a joking manner. And if you do those kind of things, then he's more likely to fall for you than if you were just to be like, hey, you know, we... We've been talking for two months, so what are we? Are we a relationship or not? If not, then I'm done. Like, I, you know, I'm not wasting my time anymore. Get out of here. That's gonna push him away, because you know he's gonna he's gonna make up some bullshit excuse. Like, no, 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 no. But listen, excuses are like assholes, man. Everyone has one. He's he's just gonna he's just gonna throw it aside, beat around the bush, tell you what you want to hear, just to keep going a little further. Instead, you actually have to. Um, switch your game plan right you have to take them off course and do something else and like i said i would personally work towards a relationship without actually bringing up the title a lot of people bring up the title i will not do that i would start doing more relationship type things start building more of a connection um so again emotionally mentally sexually however you want to do it and then i would uh when you do bring it up, do, do it very nonchalant. Make them have the me versus we mindset or we versus me mindset. And make it just make it fun. Like I always say, be his escape. Low, low drama, low stress. Don't push him into a relationship. Nothing like that. He'll resent you if you do push him into one. He ends up falling in one with you. Just have fun. Hang out. And focus on winning him over in the moment. That's all you have to do, okay? So if a guy is not in a relationship with you after a month or two, then something's wrong. He's not want I wouldn't say he's not wanting one, but he hasn't I would say he's not wanting one, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want one, if that makes sense. You have to go about it correctly. So that being said, ladies, good luck. Don't, you know, don't fall for this fucking bullshit. Do not pressure him into one and um, you know, just just kind of swing your way into it, take him off course and have fun. Simple as that. See you later. Peace.